I'm Eugene from Diacon. I want to demonstrate the installation of the TSSP-1, the thermistor probe, in a soil temperature application. Most applications are fairly simple. You just immerse the probe in the, in the fluid and then uh, secure the cable so it isn't uh, dislodged from its position. Soil temperature is a little bit different. You'd want to install the soil temperature probe or the, the thermistor in a soil temperature application at the depth of soil uh, that you're interested in. In this case we'll be installing it at about four inches deep. The first task is to dig the hole and we'll put that thermistor aside. This hole is positioned so that the shadow of the weather station doesn't pass over this particular location so we get a true ambient condition of the soil temperature. Rather than just bury the soil temperature we want to insert it into the side of the hole so we get uh, a natural density of the soil temperature we're trying to measure. We also try to retain as much as possible in this particular case uh, the, the uh, sod plug so that as we insert that we also don't create a, a temperature differential which will affect our soil temperature measurements. When installing this temperature probe it's important to grasp the top of the, the metal can, the tube, and insert it into the soil the desired depth. In this case we're about four inches deep. When refilling the hole, try to compact the soil up underneath the cable so that you don't pull the uh, temperature probe out of position and dislodge that or strain the cable. So. We've installed the temperature probe in the soil, run it over to the tripod leg, and in this situation I'm just going to wrap the tripod leg with the cables, way to keep it up out of the way. and. Uh, with the end of the cable, I will insert it through one of the cable gland holes. You may need to loosen the, the nut in order to get the cable through. After the cables, when we're, when we're done with this, we'll tighten that up and the uh, cable glands will, will form a watertight seal as well as uh, strain relief for the cable so it doesn't pull on the instrumentation. We have two leads. We have two analog ports. The thermistor is installed to one of the two analog ports. In this case, we'll select analog port one. The two leads go into the input and the ground pins, which are the two center positions for the terminal block. This is a pluggable terminal block and uses screw terminals, so it's easy to install and manipulate without having to uh, mess with other wires in the box. So that's installed. It doesn't matter which direction the leads go. Then we install, plug it in. We have here on this this version of the control module two switches and for analog one we're going to switch on number two. So I've used just the end of my screwdriver to grab the switch and turned on switch number two for analog one. Next we'll finalize the cable routing. We have uh, a lot of extra cable here. What I'm going to do is just, uh, in this case, coil this up and attach it on the back side of the weather station with a zip tie. And that's it. The thermistor is installed and we are ready to configure the control module.